And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Societal norms say and demand men should pay the bills in a relationship. But as times change, relationship expectations also adjust. So should it be 50-50 split or should one person pick up the household tab by themselves? Let's talk about it. Well, the gang's out here, guys. Uh, Kayla Nicole was on Angel Reese's podcast saying she would never go 50-50 split on bills with Travis Kelsey, who is now with multimillionaire Taylor Swift. Why do women always hate 50-50 split? Lala, what's the deal with that? <laughs> you know, I think it depends, like, how you were raised and if you're like old school or new school. Um, I do think a man should pay most of the bills, but I don't mind helping out. I don't mind helping out with like the groceries, the light bills, some light, you know? <laughs> That's the easy stuff. Yeah. If we're living together, I think the man should take care of the woman. I'm old school and that's the way it should be. All right, so all right, uh, Zach, you talked about that. I, I agree with Lala, man, and, and the, uh, in the beginning, in my late 20s, man, I was a little greedy with the money. So I did have an ex-girlfriend who was cool with splitting the bills and splitting rent. But I was over here pocketing all this money. I'm like, okay, I'm going to invest this and this, this and this. We're going to save, save, save. But now that I look at it now, I don't mind paying the rent. And I don't mind going 50-50. Uh, like, I'll go 80-20 if I need to, 75-25, whatever. As long as she can take care of, like, you know, a light bill, go ahead and get some groceries, I'm totally fine with that. As long as I'm making the money that I'm making right now. Now, if something happens with the job, we're going to have to have a talk. I'm going to ask Lala this question. I know women say they want their man to take care of them, and I understand that. But what's the definition of a woman? taking care of the man are you then willing to be then, but wait then when we're too independent y'all get mad and y'all want to get all sensitive about it right <laughs> no, i'm talking about like you know can i have a nice meal ready at a certain time gonna, oh that includes that i'm gonna wash your clothes cook your food take care of you have dinner ready i'm old school so i'm gonna do all the things i need to do to take care of you i think man i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this i'm my bad Bree. every i think every relationship is different my parents did something where my dad paid the mortgage my mom paid the little bills and food and stuff right. like that my cousins have a marriage where they put everything in one pot. Like the Bible says, we're one flesh. So it's no your money and my money. It's our money. But it's not the number saying, like my boy Ann said, 80, 20, 50. It doesn't matter. But I think men want a woman to hold them down. What if things happen and I get laid off? I've heard, I've had women say, if you lose your job, I'm out. So that's the thing. Like, and that's, to me, that's a person that's too arrogant, that's not ready for marriage. So you have to. <laughs> But that's that's these this, this newer generation, these younger yeah. people. I'm I'm very traditional, and you know, in my relationship, you know, I make sure that everything is done in the home, and that I take care of my man, and that's just what I believe in. These young people today, they're like, you know, you need to have six figures, you need to have this, you need to have that, and what they won't make a brother a bologna sandwich. Yeah, but a lot of men are saying that okay. It's you don't want 50 50 when we're paying the bills, but if we get a divorce, now you want 50 50. So if it's 100 0, <laughs> when I get my divorce, I'm keeping 100 and you get zero. So hey, that's, that's, not, that's, not that's why you better marry the right woman. But you know, you better marry the right woman. <laughs> right. But the way the court systems are set up, yeah, though, yeah. you know, you guys don't really win. Which is <laughs> you know, women, women have the whole field advantage. That's all there is to it. Exactly, exactly. But I truly believe that, you know, if he's paying all the bills, then she should at least cook the brother of Peter sure, Burns. Sure. You know. and, and let's get back really to uh, Kayla and Nicole. Did she make a mistake, guys? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, look at her now. She's, you know, he's gone on, like you said, he's with multi-millionaire, you know, uh, Taylor Swift. And she's on all these shows trying to get her 15 seconds of fame to trying to recoup what she had. And nobody's really going to want her until she changes her attitude because it's really not. Yeah. not Everyone bad. is different. I think it just depends on, like I said, how you were raised, who you're with, what their values are, what your values are. Because if you do try to help certain men, they'll be like, oh, you don't think I can do it? Okay, well, I'm going to let you do it. And then there will be some men like, damn, you don't want to help me? Okay, then let me help you. So, <laughs> you try to, I mean, damn, make up your mind what you want to do. <laughs> it's damn if you do, damn if you don't, yep. Lala. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
That's what I say. Pick a struggle. Uh-huh. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored. Great conversation, and we'll see what happens with Kayla Nicole in the future. Good luck, girl.